Hi, I'm Denis Talbot, a professor of biostatistics at University Laval. The robust poison regression is becoming increasingly popular in epidemiology. As a biostatistician, I often recommend this approach as a simple alternative to logistic regression for estimating the association between an exposure and a binary outcome on a risk ratio or a prevalence ratio scale. On several occasions, however, I experience collaborators or reviewers questioning the validity of using a poison regression to model a binary outcome. And I must admit that it sounds counterintuitive to use a poison regression for this, since poison regression is more commonly used to model count outcomes. And I couldn't find a good reference that was not too technical, explaining why it isn't necessary to assume a poison distribution for the outcome. This is what motivated writing this article. In this paper, we first aim to provide a presentation that is as accessible as possible to explain why the robust poison regression can be appropriate to model a binary outcome. For those interested, the technical details are supplied as supplementary material. One of the sections of the paper is dedicated to discussing the strengths and limitations of the robust poison regression. In that same section, we also discuss alternative approaches some of which are more complex, but are expected to have better statistical properties. The paper also provides a comparison of the robust poison regression with alternatives in simulated data and in the real data illustration. Interestingly, and perhaps surprisingly, the robust poison regression performed very well in all the scenarios that we considered. The exposure association was estimated with very little bias when confounders were modeled using splines and interaction terms, even in more complex scenarios. Regardless, it is important to keep in mind that this is a very small scale simulation study and that different scenarios may produce different results. I hope reading our article will be useful to you.